Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and uh, today the Evasion team has released their jailbreak for iOS 7.0.4 um, which is the latest version of iOS at the moment. Um, it's been a long time coming but they finally released it and so today I'm going to show you all of the things you should probably do before you actually do the jailbreak um, plus how to do the jailbreak itself. So let's get started. Okay, before you begin this will work on all iPhones, iPads and iPod Touches running iOS 7 through iOS 7.0.4. If you have a different version or a different device, please click on the link here in our Before You Begin to get to our jailbreaking section where you can find the jailbreak for your particular device and firmware version. Uh, this works on Windows and Mac. You just simply have to download your version of the jailbreaking software when it's necessary. Uh, and you also must have the latest version of iTunes installed. If you don't or you're not sure, click on this link here to be taken to iTunes. Click Download iTunes in the corner and install that on your computer. Okay, while iTunes is downloading, uh, you're going to want to disable the passcode on your device. This will just save you some headaches during the using of the program. So go to settings, go to general, go to auto lock and set that to never. Then go back and go to touch ID and passcode. If you don't have an iPhone 5S, it might just say passcode. But either way, you're going to click on that, enter in your current passcode, and then hit turn passcode off. And again, enter your passcode in. Plug in your device via USB to your computer. Hit trust. And it should automatically open up iTunes on your computer. If it tells you that you need to update, go ahead and update to 7.0.4 or you can hit cancel, doesn't matter. Don't update past 7.0.4 because right now that's all the jailbreak works for. But again, that's the latest version of the time of doing this. Now, if your iPhone doesn't automatically pop up, you can click on view in iTunes up here at the top, hit show sidebar, and then you'll see this on the side and you can click on your iPhone there and you'll see this beneath an image of your iPhone. We need to back up the device. So we're going to hit manually backup and restore, backup now. You can say backup apps and wait for it to back up your device. This way we have a backup in case anything does go wrong. While it's backing up, uh, you're gonna go onto our site again and click on the Evasion Jailbreak link to be taken to their website. Uh, now download whichever version you need, whether it's Mac or Windows, and save that to your computer. Also, please keep in mind uh, that these guys work really hard on this and it's made so simple because of them. So if you can, after this is all done, if it works for you, please say thanks to them or donate or however you can show your appreciation to them. Okay, once it downloads, um, if you're using Windows, it's a .zip file. You're gonna right click it and say extract all. Uh, and then that'll extract it to a new folder. Then you can double click the .exe file inside. If you're using Mac, you're gonna get a .dmg file, which you just double click. It'll mount. And then double click Evasion 7 and hit open. And now it should be ready to go. And you'll see that it has knows your device. It says it's supported, so it does that check for you, which is great. And then you're simply going to click jailbreak. Now patiently wait for it to finish. Um, and during this time, do not unplug the device, obviously. And also ignore anything that iTunes does. Don't touch your computer or your phone to be safe. And walk away. Eventually on the screen, it's going to say, to continue, please unlock your device and tap the new Evasion 7 icon. Okay, without unplugging the device, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to push the power button at the top. Swipe to unlock the screen. Swipe over and you'll see Evasion 7. Tap that. And then it will reboot the device again. Then on the computer you're going to see Done. You can click Exit. And eventually you should have a rebooted phone and you'll see the Cydia app in the corner. That's how you know you're jailbroken. Enjoy. And there you go. I hope that helped some of you. And if you'd like to check out some of our other tips and tricks or other how-to videos, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.